hey guys, we've we've got Riaz on with today us today. It's a it's uh it's pretty amazing because he's he's pretty famous. He's he's uh, a little starstruck right now, just a little star, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, a little star. Local cool. TV will cool. do that to you, man. Local <laughs> TV. <laughs> we so Riaz is going to be at BC Food and Bev's Food Pro Twenty Three, um, and we uh we're pretty excited because I, I i'm going to this thing kenny's going to this thing we're excited we're going to be right at 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 your uh at your talk and i think uh, just before we started you know recording one of the things that we were talking about uh about the food space that bc food and bev is kind of like right in the middle of is this you know like extraordinary extraordinary kind of connections that brands and manufacturers are making we're talking about differences of how we used to protect trade secrets 20 years ago to now competitors helping each other out. And um, we we're talking to Riaz about that because that is his thing, right? Is relationships and connections and, and how to make these things go. So we were just giving him all sorts of really cool examples. Um, so we're really excited to to have you come to the to this thing and and hear you speak. Riaz. Well, he- you know what? Thanks for having me on, uh, Phil, and for the kind words. And, and Kenny, I, I love the, you know, even prior to us rolling, the perspective you were able to share, which inspires me when we look at the ecosystem with BC Food and Bev and collaborative cultures that exist. And maybe that's something in the past three years that really shifted and changed that we all just need to look as, as a collective society, look out for each other and serve the greater good with the innovation, with the progress being mm-hmm. made. And the thing that I love is that small wins are big wins. And when I work with bigger companies, I hear, well, different teams have different priorities and we're completely siloed. But the one thing that I've heard and observed from this culture is that we're in it for each other. Even though we do have different priorities, we're here to listen, we're here to lift each other up and we're here to support one another. And, you know, I'm a firm believer, if we lead with this essence of meaningful human connection, especially in an industry like this, we will all win by being able to outcare the competition. I mean, w- what a competition to have. We're just trying to How outcare cool that and, and, and serve the greater good. How cool would that be? I I, I also think um, in there is is really, because it is extraordinary, right? Like we we have been gold with, you know, let, let's not kid ourselves. We're all trying to make some money, right? We're all trying to be profitable, but we are gold by something a little bit different, right? Like this generation is starting to try and undo some of our bad past, right? Try and save this planet that we know is in a lot of trouble. Like all of these things are kind of, I think they all help with the extraordinary, right? Like being able to to aim at something really different. So I think it's really cool. Like I, I think it's really cool too. And food is yeah. one of those vessels that actually can do this. If you ever want to connect with people, you connect people, connect with people over food. Culturally, um, you know, it's been done for a thousand years. We like it. That's what it's about. And I think it sort of transcends when even into the production of and the processing of. I think it's just it seems to be embedded into this this ecosystem of of food in general, whether it's the distribution, the production, the processing. It just seems to be all intertwined where it's a really cool industry that way. Can, can well, I ask? Great... Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, go, go ahead, ahead please. Yeah. Yeah. As you both are articulating about the industry, it makes me think of the the value of just kind of maintaining a beginner's mindset in all of it. You know, in all the interviews and focus and research on human connection, the one thing that's become apparent, especially in business and small entrepreneurship, is the difference between confidence and arrogance for making progress is this beginner's mindset to maintain this sense of humility that, Mm. hey, we may be in this industry, technically we may be competitors, but we're here to learn from each other. We're not just (laughs) listening to speak, we're listening to learn from one another. And I think that's the great part of BC Food Pro that got me pumped up to be a part of this event is to learn how the industry is changing, how it's evolving, how I can do my part to support this progress. And that's a great part of being a presenter that sometimes you get to come in and share a message. And for me, it's building relationships, but also listen to the audience and understand And this message can serve this industry in big ways. Totally. I, I was I was going to ask you because I think one of the really cool things is um, having you there is is your book is every conversation counts, and I feel like the Food Pro event is also it's built on this right. Like it's built on it's kind of like TEDx style, so it's a chance to be able to have conversations. Is there anything like? 
as people listen and they start signing up and they keep signing up, is there anything they need to think about? Like, cause I think you can help with that is what mindset do you bring to this thing? Do you know what I mean? Like we're, we're all kind of open. We're all, you know, but there are still awkward moments. You're kind of like new people. What do I do? What, what do you have any kind of like tips without, you know, people need to read the book clearly, but um, <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? Like, what do they bring in terms of a mindset? Yeah, how do you approach it? How do you approach yeah. a show like this? Or how do you approach any event like yeah. this or, get together when I, when I look at the one of my favorite parts of doing events like this is not only being able to share ideas from the stage but the conversations that'll happen after the actual session and when we look at the idea and one of the habits from the book is talking about making your small talk bigger is the critical mistake i see uh the common mistake uh, i see that gets in the way when we're trying to make this good first impression is that we focus on fact instead of creating a feeling like it's so easy as a small entrepreneur, you, you want to establish this rapport, you want to establish your place in the industry. So you get caught up with the laundry list of accomplishments of what you've done in your business and you forget about what you can ignite in the person in front of you. So the right. simple mindset, and we'll do a deep dive on the session of how we can do this and the types of questions that can unlock it, but how can you become a master of evoking positive emotion? If that is where we put the focus, it's leading with our sense of curiosity. And the ultimate goal isn't what you can say to impress somebody. It's how you ignited their self-discovery. And they'll appreciate you for that curiosity of how you leaned in. So as a tease, so we don't give too much away, we will break down the, the, the types of questions you can ask because the quality of your questions will ultimately determine the depth of your connections in this industry and in your personal life. Uh, okay, cool. I'm stoked. Yeah, no, okay. no. I, I, I've been starstruck I, to now have to go and listen. <laughs> hey, what the hell is going on this morning? This is awesome. this is amazing. Fun. Um, and then you don't have to say yes or no, but will do you think you'll be signing books if people have books there? Of your books, absolutely. If they, if they have books and they want them signed, okay. yeah, man, I love hanging out after and and okay. and learning where people are at, okay. what they love about human connection, and if they've got a book to be signed, let's do it. That's awesome. I, I was going to ask you about the second the part you said there. So you are going to hopefully hang out a little bit, do your thing, come out, talk to people. Cause I'm sure people would love to, I mean, the, yeah. the topic already sounds very cool. Yeah. I think it's super important. Um, I think we do need to, I mean, I think if anything, what COVID show, showed us is that we had a time there where we really lacked a lot of human interaction and touch and feel and all those emotions that, kind of can get lost in this medium or when you're just not talking to anybody. So I think it's really, really important right now. Plus, I think you can even see in society, I think we're gone a little squirrely. And I think a lot of it could be the result of not being around a lot of people for a bit yeah. there, right? So I think maybe we have to relearn a few things. Yeah, a lot of things were disrupted uh, yeah. in a major way. And I believe much of it go goes back to just the basics of how we get curious, how we listen to each right. other, the vulnerability we can give one another, the empathetic curiosity we can lean in with, and ultimately how we appreciate one another. I mean, this event to me is a celebration of progress, which I think is phenomenal. We get to hear powerful stories. And then ultimately, yeah, connect with the attendees. I'll be the guy loitering in the back by the veggie tray. Come find me, gotta stay healthy, you know? <laughs> but uh, let's, let, let's talk about it, about what resonates and how connection can show up in our lives. So awesome. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, the group that'll be there. It's awesome. Okay, Very so cool, man. Movie Pro 23, uh, Riaz will be there. We'll be there. We'll be loitering with you in the back. Yeah, somewhere, yeah. But... We'll just be hanging <laughs> on. Just, you know, we will loiter in numbers. Yeah. Yes. That's community right there. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds cool, man. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks.